hide, and shade. Hide. This regenerates a three-dimensional wireframe model with hidden lines suppressed. The shortcut key used to type on the command line is HI. For example, create a solid object on the drawing area. Go to the View menu and select the Hide command. The object is displayed as a 3D model in a hidden line view. Thus, the Hide command is used to view the object in a hidden line view. Shade. The Shade command allows you to shade a 3D model based on the colors that the objects are assigned. The shortcut key used to type on the command line is SHA. The command appears with six default options. They are 2D wireframe. It displays the objects using lines and curves to represent the boundaries. 3D wireframe. This displays the objects using lines and curves to represent the boundaries. 3D hidden. This displays the objects using 3D wireframe representation and hides lines representing back faces. Realistic. It shades the objects and smooths the edges between the polygon faces. Conceptual. It shades the objects and smooths the edges between polygon faces. Shading uses the gooch face style, a transition between cool and warm colors rather than dark to light. The effect is less realistic, but it can make the details of the model easier to see. It's just like the gradient color in AutoCAD 2006. Others. The user-defined visual styles are applied to solid model by using this option. Here are the steps to be followed. Go to the View menu and select the View Style Manager. Now select any one option from the command. For example, select Conceptual Style. The Conceptual Style is applied to the solid model. Plotting Plotting deals with larger sheets of paper and specialized devices called plotters. Sending a drawing to a plotter or to an electronic file for output can be challenging at first. That is because of the number of options that AutoCAD offers. The option is called the Page Setup Manager, which controls the Model tab or layouts within a drawing. The options of the Page Setup are the subset of the options found in the Plot dialog box. Options of a Page Setup From the Page Setup Manager, create or select an existing page setup to modify. The steps for each process vary slightly, but you end up in the Page Setup dialog box, where you can make the actual option selections. These selections define the characteristics of a page setup. The next one is a general overview of the types of options that are part of a page setup. Printer or Plotter It specifies the default device that the layout should be sent to when plotted or published. This allows you to create different page setups to be used during the checking process and in the final output. Paper Size this specifies the default paper size to be used whether it is a check plot to be printed on 11 by 17 papers or the final design on an ANSIE 34 by 44 large format paper. Plot area. This specifies the default area of the drawing that you want as output. This can be the limits of the drawing, a named view or a windowed area. The options that you select depend on how your drawing is set up and whether you are outputting a model or layout tab. Plot Offset This specifies the offset value for the origin of the printable area. It also specifies whether the plot should be centered within the printable area. Plot Scale Specifies how the objects in the plot area should be scaled in order to be displayed properly. You can specify an exact scale, such as a quarter inch equals one or a custom size that just fits the drawing on the specified paper size. Plot Style Table It specifies which plot style should be used during the output of a drawing. A plot style can control the color and line weights of objects as they are sent to a printer, plotter or electronic file. Shaded Viewpoint Options Shaded Viewport Options 
This controls how the viewports defined on a layout should be plotted. Plot options. Options in this area control how the final plot appears. It also controls whether plot styles and line weights are used during output. Drawing orientation. It controls the direction in which the drawing should be output, whether the portrait or landscape should be used. Here are other methods to start the page setup command and to access the page setup manager. Go to file menu and select page setup manager. The page setup manager is displayed. In the page setup manager, click new. The new page setup dialog box appears. In the new page setup dialog box, enter the name of page setup in the new page setup name text box. Select one of the existing page setups from the Start With list box or choose None to start with default settings only. Selecting a page setup from the Start With list box can be helpful if a page setup already exists. It should be close to the one which you want to create. Now click OK. The New Page Setup dialog box is closed and the Page Setup dialog box appears. In the Page Setup dialog box, Specify the different options to be associated with the page setup. The options that you select will be used with the layout. The page setup is associated with it while plotting or publishing. Now click OK. The page setup dialog box is closed and you are back to the page setup manager. The created page setup should be listed in the list box under the page setups section. Click forward arrow set current. The page setup is assigned to the current layout. Its name is displayed at the right side of the current page setup label under the page setup section. In the page setup manager, click close. The page setup manager is now closed and you are back to the drawing window. Layouts are used to help you on how a drawing is plotted or published. Working with layouts. Unlike page setups, Layouts are not managed through a dialog box. Layouts are managed through the tabs that appear along the bottom of the drawing window. The layout command is used for working with paper space layouts. To display the layout in a drawing area, go to the status bar and place the cursor over the model icon and right-click the mouse and select Display the Layout tabs. Thus, the layout tabs get displayed on the drawing area. Here are the methods to start the layout command. Go to Menu Browser and click on the Insert menu and select Layout. Submenus with three different options are displayed where you can select New Layout to create a new layout. Type the name of the layout and press Enter. To work on the Layout tab, select a Layout tab to create a viewport. You should notice that the objects on the Model tab are displayed in the viewport. Delete the default viewport. Now type MView on the command line and press Enter to create a new viewport. MView means Make View. It is used to create and control the viewports. Now the command line asks you to specify a corner of viewport. Specify a first corner on the layout window. Now specify an opposite corner point. The objects in Model View get fitted onto the Paper Space viewport. Like this, you can create many viewports in the same layout. Let us use some of the sub-options available in the Make View command. Off. It is used to make a selected viewport inactive. Objects in Model Space are not displayed in an inactive viewport. For example, type MView on the command line and press Enter. Now type Off and press Enter. Select the viewport to switch it off and press Enter. Thus, the object in the viewport gets turned off. On. It makes a selected viewport active. An active viewport displays the objects in model space. For example, type MView on the command line and press Enter. Now type On and press Enter. Select the viewport to switch it on and press Enter. Thus, the object in the viewport gets turned on. Fit. 
It creates one viewport that fills the layout to the edges of the printable area in an empty layout window. For example, type M view on the command line and press Enter. Now type Fit and press Enter. The entire area of the layout is filled with one viewport. Shade Plot It specifies how viewports in layouts are plotted. For example, type M view on the command line and press Enter. Now type S and press Enter. A sub-option gets highlighted, whereas, as displayed, specifies that a viewport is plotted the same way it is displayed. As wireframe. It is a representation of an object using lines and curves to represent its boundaries. As hidden. It regenerates the model with hidden lines suppressed. All visual styles. Specify that a viewport is plotted against using the specified visual style. All visual styles in the drawing are listed whether the options are in use or not. All render presets specify that a viewport is plotted using the specified render preset. All render presets are listed as options. Now select any one option. For example, select Hidden and press Enter. These changes are viewed only when plotting or plot preview is on. Lock. This prevents the zoom scale factor on the selected viewport from being changed while working in model space. It is set by selecting on or off option. Type M view on the command line and press enter. Now type lock and press enter. Type on in command line. The command line asks you to select an object. Select the viewport and press Enter. Now the layout won't allow panning of sketch inside the viewport. Again, go to MView command and make sure the lock option is off and select the same viewport. Now the layout allows you to pan a sketch inside the viewport. Object. This specifies a closed polyline, ellipse, spline, region or circle to convert into a viewport. The polyline you specify must be closed and contain at least three verticals. It can be self-intersecting and it can contain an arc as well as line segments. With the object option you can select a closed object such as a circle or closed polyline created in paper space to convert into a layout viewport. The object that defines the viewport boundary is associated with the viewport after the viewport is created. Now on the layout, draw a sketch like circle and rectangle etc. Again, type M view on the command line and press enter. Type O to select the object option and press enter. Now select a circle or rectangle and press enter. Thus the viewport is created inside the circle or rectangle. Let us see some other sub-options which are very simple. Polygon. It creates an irregularly shaped viewport using specified points. Restore. It restores viewport configurations saved with the viewports command. Layer. You can control the layer settings for each individual viewport in a layout tab by using this command. This can be helpful when you want to show the same view of a drawing in different ways. For example, you can draw a single floor plan in the Model tab with different types of information on different layers. It divides the specified area horizontally or vertically into two viewports of equal size. It divides the specified area into three viewports. It divides the specified area horizontally and vertically into four viewports of equal size. After creating the viewports, right-click on the Layout tab and select Page Setup Manager. Now select a layout and select Modify. The page setup appears. Select all the required settings and go for Preview. After finishing the preview, close the window. Now select OK to accept the setup and select Close option to close the Page Setup Manager. Now the plotting of an object is finished. Exporting and Importing Export
You can create drawing files for the purpose of inserting them into other drawings as blocks. Individual drawing files are easy to create and manage as the source of block definitions. Collections of symbols can be stored as individual drawing files and grouped in folders. Here are the steps to be followed. Draw a sketch on the drawing area. Go to the File menu and choose Export. Now, Export Data dialog box appears. Save the file where you need it to be saved. Mention the file format also. For example, save the file with the name Drawing and choose the file type by clicking the drop-down arrow. Now, select the Bitmap format. You can also select the Save button on the standard toolbar. Now, select the object which you need to export and press Enter. The object is now exported. OLE OLE means Object Linking and Embedding. This is an information sharing method in which the data from a source document can be linked to or embedded in a destination document. Selecting the data in the destination document opens the source application so that the data can be edited. You can link information from a document created by another application to a drawing. For example, you might want to insert a schedule that will automatically be updated. You can also install multimedia icons which are activated when double-clicked. For example, a quality checking schedule is created in MS Excel Sheet. Now the sheet should be added to the AutoCAD drawing. Create a sketch on the drawing area. Go to the Insert menu and select OLE Object Option. Now Insert Object dialog box appears. There are some options available to insert an object. Options vary depending on whether you select Create New or Create from File. Create New this option opens the application that's highlighted in the Object Type list, so that you can create a new object to insert. Create from File. This specifies a file to link. The path and name of the file to be linked is displayed, and the required file is linked by using the browsing button. Display as Icon. This displays the source application's icon in the drawing. Double-clicking the icon displays the embedded information. Browse. This option displays the Browse dialog box in which you can select a file to link or embed. Link. It creates a link to the selected file rather than embedding it. Let us select Create from File option. For example, browse the file and select the Excel sheet file. Click on the Open button. Now click on the OK button. When you double-click the display icon, the Excel sheet opens. When you click on the drawing area, you will get to work in the AutoCAD window.